G'day guys and welcome to my merged and bashed patch guide for 2020. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so first up, what we need to do is actually download and install Rybash and also SSE Edit. And then we want to add the executables to uh, Mod Organizer 2. Uh, so for those of you who already know how to do that, you can skip straight to step two. So you'll find them both on the Nexus. So this is SSE Edit here. Uh, you just wanna grab the uh, main file and the current version is 4.0.3 and that's just a manual download and Ryabash is here and you also just want to grab the uh, latest version of that in the main files so that first file there which says installer and again that is just a manual download and I will leave a link uh, in the description below to get to both of those so I've already downloaded both of these and I've just put them on my desktop here for ease of use. All right, so first up, um, SSE Edit. We um, actually want to create a folder to put that one into because when we open up the zip file, you'll see it's just all individual files and we actually want all of those. So um, I like to keep it away from my um, Steam and Skyrim SE installation which is actually in my uh, E drive. So I'm just gonna pop um, SSE edit into my D drive. So we just need to create a folder and we'll just call it SSE edit. And then all we need to do is highlight all the files and just drag them straight into that new folder. Okay, so that's got that one installed. And then YBash actually has its own installer. Click next. And this is where you can choose um, to install it for Skyrim or in our case, Skyrim SE. So I'm just gonna Unselect uh, Skyrim and then just make sure that uh, the location of your game is actually correct there So Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Skyrim Special Edition um, If you have the Steam version, obviously And click Next And we've got the option for Fallout 4 as well Just going to deselect that And just click Next Make sure everything's ticked and install And we don't actually want to run uh, Rybash at the moment. And we don't actually want to view the README either. But um, I suggest you probably do that for the first time. And we'll just close that down. Okay, so now we have to actually add the executables um, into our mod organizer. I'm currently running 2.1.2. .2. So we go up to edit. And we'll do SSE edit first. Uh, you've got to remember where you actually put it. And in my case, it was the D drive. SSE edit. Now, just be aware here, um, this new version has an executable uh, for a quick auto clean as well as SSE edit. Um, that auto clean is a uh, separate thing um, for cleaning your mods. Um, that process is all changed now. So just make sure you select the SSE edit.exe for this. And for the folder, we'll just choose the folder that we created. 
and I always tick the uh, use applications icon for shortcut and click add so now there it is down the bottom there SSE edit so we'll just do the same for Rybash and we'll call it Rybash now this one actually goes into your Skyrim SE folder where your actually actual game is installed um, I have it saved on my shortcut up here Skyrim Special Edition and you'll know you're in the right place if you see Skyrim SE and also Skyrim SE Launcher executables and we want to go into Mopi that's the folder where Rybash has been installed open that and then select the executable down the bottom of the list there and for the folder I'm just going to select the uh, Mopi folder and again use applications icon for shortcuts add close and you should see that down the bottom of the list there it is there alright so that has both um, SSE edit and Rybash installed and we have the executables in uh, Mod Organizer 2 ready to run So before we create new patches, we want to make sure we don't have any uh, merged or bashed patches in our list currently. And as you can see down the bottom here, I actually do. So all you need to do is just right click on that and click remove mod. And that's how you actually get rid of um, your uh, bashed patch and merged patch. So we'll just right click on our bashed patch there, remove mod. Alright, um, that's them uninstalled and gone, and that's uh, completely safe to do. And also, for anyone that's running uh, Dindulod, uh, you want to make sure that that's actually um, deselected before you create any uh, bashed patch or merged patch. Um, it doesn't play nicely with either of those programs. So you just um, simply untick it so it's uh, not in our list and uh, that way you shouldn't run into any problems okay so first up we'll do our merged patch so we want to click on SSE edit and run okay so first of all you'll get this box up uh, with a list of all your plugins so you just have to go through and um, select everything that you want to be um, loaded up in order to create your merge patch so I pretty much just have everything selected and then click OK and SSE edit will now go and uh, load up all those plugins so I've just had this little box um, pop up it says which mod groups do you want to activate um, Legacy of the Dragonborn uh, yes um, I do have that in my mod list and I definitely want that loaded uh, it's selected there so just uh, click OK and once SSE edit is finished loading everything up you will see this little message at the bottom here background loader finished okay so now we can actually go on to making our merged patch so on the left hand side here you just need to right click anywhere go down to other at the bottom and then the top one here, create merged patch. You'll get this little uh, warning message, merge patch is unsupported for Skyrim SE, blah, blah, blah. Just click yes. And we want to call it SSEM, all in capitals, merged. So SSE merged, click OK. And there it is down the bottom on the left hand side. Uh, so what we can do is just right click on that and then click clean masters. Do you want to do this? Yes. And then if we click on the little plus to the left of it, that'll bring up everything that's inside our SSE merged ESP. 
And what I like to do is delete anything in here that has a leveled in front of it. Uh, because what we're going to do shortly is used, use our bashed patch um, to sort out our leveled list. So I just select anything with leveled in it, right click and remove. Yes, I'm sure I want to do this. And then there's another one there, leveled NPC. So right click, remove. Yes, I'm sure. All right, that's all we need to do there. So we can close that down. Make sure your backup plugins is selected. Click OK. And now what we find is in our overwrite file folder, <laughs> um, there it is, the SSE merged ESP and SSE edit cache. So we just need to make that into a mod, right click, create mod, and we'll call it SSEM, all in capitals, merged patch. So SSE merged patch. Click OK. It will be in my unchecked down the bottom. Select it. Back to checked. And there it is on the left there. And there it is on the right there. So next we're going to create our bashed patch. Now just a quick note, uh, you may have noticed this uh, ESP over here. Um, that is actually from Weapons, Armor, Clothing and Clutter Fixes. So if you guys use that mod, then you will see this uh, ESP in your list. Uh, you want to actually select that before you run Rybash and it basically um, fixes some level list issue uh, with that mod. So we'll select that one and then run Rybash. All right, we've just got a little uh, warning over here on the left. Um, just okay that. Okay, so you come to the list on the left hand side and right down the bottom you will see bashed patch 0.esp. So all we need to do is right click on that one and go to rebuild patch. Um, so we've just got a, a list of um, things that are different or have changed since the last time we may have run uh, Rybash. So I usually just go straight down to Build Patch. So once Rybash has finished creating your bash patch, you'll get this little um, box come up here. You can uh, read through all the information if you wish. And then just OK that. Uh, when it asks um, Activate Bash Patch, I just click No, because we're going to actually do that um, through the Overwrite folder. And we can just close down Rybash now. And then in the overwrite, you'll see we now have the bashed patch ESP plus INI tweaks and docs. So we can just right click on that, create mod. I'll just call it bashed patch. Click OK. And it will be in my unchecked list down the bottom, hopefully. There it is there, just select it, go back to checked, and there it is sitting down the bottom. And there's the ESP in our plugins list. All right, so that is it. Now we just have to remember to unselect the uh, weapons, armor, clothing, and clutter fixes bashed patch level list fix ESP, if you have it. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you don't have the weapons, armor, clothing, and clutter fixes mod, then you will not have that. ESP, so you don't need to worry about that step. And also for those of you using Dindulod, don't forget to reselect that as well. And as you would know, that goes at the bottom of the list, along with the uh, Dindulod ESP um, also at the bottom. The ESM it just goes a little further up and sits about there.
So that is it guys, that's how you create a uh, merged patch and also a bashed patch uh, through Mod Organizer 2. So I hope that video helped you out, uh, if it did please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.